Hello, everybody. I hope you all had a great week. Um, I've got uh, this uh, ready to take these back off and put the new ones we made last week on. And then we'll get to finishing up the nose and get that rear done and get this off our table and get it out there where you guys can build it. I started trimming it off there, as you can see, but I figured I better do this on camera just so that you can watch how I fix a screw up. You've already seen enough of those with this project, huh? Um, all right, guys. Uh, I hope that, uh, again, everybody's doing great. Uh, watch what I'm doing here. It's just uh, basically hacking it up at the moment, which is kind of fun. But, you know, it would be better if it was not for this reason. <laughs> whatever all right well anyway like share subscribe uh we really appreciate you and um here we go
Well, folks, we got it fixed. I just need to put a little piece on there, but this all needs to dry now so I can tighten it down and that'll get rid of this gap here and this gap here. I'm working my finger in reverse and there's a cap piece that'll go right here that'll fill that in so it looks correct there. Um, and also next week we'll go in and put the back on to the fins and uh, put the sail back on here where I tore it off. And um, hopefully we can just do most of the final details next week. Um, I'm still thinking it'll probably take one build after that though because we've got a lot of things we're gonna have to fill in, a lot of trimming to do to get rid of some of the gradations, you know, this junk, um, gaps to fill, that kind of thing. Um, but when we're done, it will look clean. You know, uh, these little blots and all you see, they're gonna be hidden, so that won't be a problem. And all these pieces will be tightened up against the thing. They're just not right now because I wanted to finish this and move it forward, or because, correction. I had to tear these off, so I didn't want to go on and secure those just in case, you know, I had to move something around. Obviously, they'll all go together. So what we're going to do is we'll put that little cat piece on, we'll put the fins on the back, and then we'll work all this back to the fins because uh, we want those fins in place too so we can line this all up correctly. And then we'll get rid of all these gaps, we'll get rid of all, we'll clean it up, make it look like a real model. And then we'll do some interior shots where you can see inside. Um, also saw, you remember a flying sub, uh, I saw one the other day where somebody had built one of those um, out of uh, mixed media. Uh, it was uh, balsa, some cladding that was done from some type of plastic material. I'm going to research it a little bit further. And they actually made it a flying sub. You know, it would go under the water, and it was pretty cool. And since we already have one, that would be neat to do too. Um, sorry about my camera angles. I'm trying to work. Okay, got it. Uh, I know I go off screen sometimes. Sorry about that, guys. Um, and I'm still trying to learn this too. And again, this is a prototype for people who are just checking in. It's a prototype where we're, I'm doing the design and the build, or the paint and the build all together. So there's a lot of works on the model. When I'm done, I'll clean it up. It'll look good. And the one that you'll be getting as a download will be, you know, won't have all the uh, issues that we ran into because obviously we ran into them and I fixed them. Um, again, it's paper, guys. You know, you just clad it over uh, that is to say if you mess something up you just clad over it or you wad it up throw it away and rebuild it it's uh you know it's a cool hobby i hope you're enjoying this and please like share and subscribe and we really appreciate you guys stay safe out there and duke out